So, there's a little bit of racking. Bit foamy. And look at that. That's quite clear. It looked really murky, but now it's cleared out well. So I'm just wondering how much beer I'm going to actually get into this. But yeah, awesome. <clears throat> this is quite funny. But yeah, it's good. We like foam. Get near the end now. Yeah, great. So, this is me kegging for the first time ever. Look at that. That is crystal fucking clear. It smells beautiful. It's going alright so far. Look at that. Kegging. Right. So now I've put my beer into my keg and I've um, carved it up and purged it using this. I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow after work I will add some more gas to it. So, right, I'll come back to you in a second. Yeah, that's going to go in there overnight. Um, right. Right, so I've kegged my first beer. Uh, one thing I've got to get used to is the keg lid. lid. Uh, trying to put that on. Uh, if you don't get it in there right, it doesn't seal properly. If you turn... If you say you've got water inside, you turn it upside down, it can leak. Um, yeah, I did that a few times, it, it leaked a few times, and uh, about three or four times I actually got it to seal properly, so that was good. And then um, when I had the sanitizer in there, I added some gas in there, and then I um, put my tap on and pulled out some star sand yeah um it worked quite well but right so to purge and just to well when i put the beer in um and then i just clicked the just saw and then i purged the the air out i used one of these they don't really last that long but okay so bear in mind my beer is warm at the moment so it's in the free fridge and it's going to be over um, in there overnight until I get in from work tomorrow when I come in I'll take it out and I'll blast some more gas in there um, and then I'll leave it for about three hours or so. And then I'll blast some more gas in there. And then I think I'll leave it another three, four hours or so. And then just before I go to sleep, I'll put some more in. And then the next day, I'll give it a pour and see whether it's carved up or not. But anyway... So yeah, so so far I've used two of these and that's just to get the beer in the keg, purged it, so I'm now ready to force carbonate. Um, I've got ten of the, well I've got eight left of these, I've got ten more coming tomorrow, they should be here when I get in from work. So... I'm definitely going to carve this beer up, but I just want to see how many bulbs it takes and how long it will take me to carve it up. But yeah, um, sort of worked well. 
it's a bit sort of hard to get used to it bearing in mind I've never used a keg before I've never used any of this sort of stuff before and I've not used these properly in a keg or anything so yeah first dry run two bulbs down so far so I'm, de I'm determined to force carbonate this beer but yeah that beer god that looked beautiful it smelt absolutely stunning it was crystal clear i don't know whether it's because it's been fermented in a glass um carboy who knows but yeah oh, i can't wait i can't wait until i think maybe saturday or sunday i'll be able to try and have a little sip but i can't wait but anyway right then guys um yeah so that's it for this video the next video that you will see will be me force carbonating my keg right as always i'll see you in the next video